actually where she's getting started. Shouts to Emerson. Three, two, <laughs> big ups, big ups, big ups. Go. God, I love Daisy. <laughs> what an explosive way to start the match. Today. Big ol' yo. And they're so just, loud. It's just scrapping. All on the right side of the screen. Just so, trying to make it happen. So far, Blue Team looks kind of good, though. PS2 is a very standard start for yeah. ultimate, both in singles and in doubles. But I feel like Red Team is going to be able to control the uh, the base stage very well. Definitely, definitely. Like, they naturally want to funnel their opponents to the ledge. I think Palu is so good at that, too. Obviously, Lucina is as well. But Red Team is definitely have, they have a really good front in the terms of stage control. I'm excited to see it in play. Oh, my God. Not to mention the combos. All of Palu's aerials are so good right now. I'm excited to see them all connect. Ooh, wow. Swing and almost a kill, but not quite just yet. High damage across the board for all players, and Blue Team's doing at least a good job of going for trades. All right, a little bit of friendly flame right there, but big throw for Lucina here. I feel like a big uh, aspect of what Blue Team can bring to this is their item control. Definitely. So, one of the biggest things about Link being changed into this game is Remote Bomb. Right. Remote Bomb actually does really well at countering Paolo Tana as far as, like, checking the space that she can occupy. Because even though she has good movement tools to her, they're not exactly that quick. Right. And Remote Bomb has a very respectable hitbox to it. Oh, yeah. So, Alfred should be able to control a lot of space to prevent movement from, uh, from at least the butts. Yeah. But well, honestly, they look uh, they look like they need a lot more help. Mr. E finally losing his first stock. But had a big percent deficit here for Blue Team. There's only so much that Daisy can do for like breaking apart scuffles like this. Right. Because she herself is a very self-centered character in doubles. She wants her own combos to maximize damage output. Uh, she has a couple of good tools for being able to juggle and whatnot, but she can't afford to get too deep into the nitty gritty because that's percentage she can't really afford to take. Right. right. All right. Oh, nice. I like Mr. E hitting the buzz and get him back into the action. Now Blue Team at the center stage. Oh, wow. Big call out on the jump. Mr. E in the 2v1, but he's actually coming out ahead. And despite Red Team doing most of the swing, this is looking like a far more doable match. Definitely. Think, like. Wow, great. Oh my god, dude. The presence of mind from the buzz. They get the follow up with the F tilt, and now they are looking firmly in control. Wow. You really just let it run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, up smash time? He did that, dude. He did that. Oh, all right. Nice remote bomb to be back in the center stage, but he's looking at disadvantage right now. Yeah, here's found on the ground. Still not that great. Let's not get twisted. They gave Link some really nice tools. Not all of them. Yeah, that was going to asking too much. There goes that stock. Looks like Zyvon is going to go down to his last. Really? Okay. Three to one. Yeah, that is. I'm actually quite surprised. I would have expected uh, their team to let Alkri rock the 2v1 just because Link has better tools for at least staving off that pressure. Right, right. I do think Zyvon is definitely more calm under pressure, in my experience. Always very collected. He's going to need a lot of collection and a lot of nerves. Oh, He's gonna have to center on the basketball that close. Honestly, like, look at this. He can't. He can't really do anything on the ledge because he's getting down so yep. He was big chilling with his side B. And honestly, explosive flame has such a little cooldown that, like, if he did roll on, it wouldn't have been good, much better for him anyway. Oh no! There it is. What a wild hitbox. But that's gonna be it. It's gonna get the photo finish. Three stocks to zero in Red Team's favor. You'll never defeat me. Now. We know that there are other characters in the arsenal for uh, for Zyvon. Right. The question is, are we going to see them? Because the Daisy was doing a decent job, at least like once the scuffles broke off to one v one situations. Right. And that's where Daisy is, of course, you know, stronger. But I feel like if he is more willing to just put out hitboxes, uh, you might be able to cover for Alkari a bit better. Because yeah, like Alkari was throwing himself way deep. Right. A like lot. you said, I think Zyvon didn't really have the ability to sort of break up those scuffles like you would have liked to see, but maybe if he's just a little more reactive, we can see a change of pace and hopefully works out in Zyvon Alfred's favor. It's gonna be on Final Destination. Mystery right. and Buzz looking to make it the actual Final Destination. We're, not, we're trying to run through the bracket now. We're trying to get a game three. They're trying to speed their way up. Oh my God. All right, I thought he was like really hovering on Duck I, Yo, I saw a Duck Hunt, I was like, I just meal. I, I don't like doing that. 
against these two. Yeah, I don't want right? to see anyone do that. I was going to say, the two really bad characters are on Duck Hunt into, but thankfully we don't have to worry about that. We are going right back to the tried and true. Guy and girl in blue, Link and Daisy. Oh my god, double explosive player. Just start strong from the explosive players. It offers such safe pressure. And it does a little too much damage for my face. There's a lot of things that do lots of damage. <laughs> true, true. True. It's sort of like... It, I think it's just something that we as a community have to get used to, where characters are just outputting boatloads of damage. Yes, yeah. And honestly, I do enjoy it. Once you're used to it, it is definitely a better option. Oh, wow, all right. Blue Team is stuck on the ledge right now. Remote Bomb finally getting him back to center, but at what cost? Alkyrie's been doing really well to recover the stage with the Remote Bomb. But oh, yeah, like the damage that he has to trade for that, it's very much in the same line of thought as Snake. Right. Where like you just gotta take the hits to survive. But unlike Snake, it's not that heavy. Yes. And he's much more open from when he's C pouring himself or using nades to stop them. And the trades are a lot worse when you don't have the lead, which has never really been the case for your team. Oh no. Oh, this is looking like a rough scene right off the bat, but good awareness from Alkari. Stop the uh, shield break from leading him to anything disastrous for his Ivan. Really good use of the instability there. Sort of clear the air, get back to neutral. Unfortunately, I feel like, so we see them running with a lot of momentum right yes. now. Like a lot, a lot. Oh, yep. Um, Those counters from me have been so good. The remote bomb is not going to do it. And that's already three stocks. Are we going to see the six stock thing, man? What a way to start the block. For Zyvon's case, I, I'm hoping not, but... Oh, big up smash. Caught him jumping, but still not enough. Like, he is just so strong controlling the stage with Lucina. Like, always. Because you could just shark forever. Yeah, and his teammates at the Buzz. So it's not like you have anywhere to go, really. We saw before the Buzz covering the ledge with explosive flame and he covering the stage with his body. Almost unpenetrable fortress. Yo, big ups to Zyvon just not outright giving up, though. Yes. Because, like, you look at these two on a 6-1 to one lead on you, and like, mm. ooh, at least you can make a statement like that. Exactly. And DeBuzz looked like he was ready for that, but Zyvon still navigating around it. Oh, smart. That was actually genius. Yeah. He died, but that was really smart. His brain was in the right place. Explosive flame hitting behind the code would turn around to cover Mr. E. Super smart, but that move has gotten a lot worse, honestly. Yeah. It doesn't have the intangibility that it should. Doesn't have intangibility. Doesn't, really doesn't hover in place. Right. You don't get any momentum from wave landing it. It's yep. like, it's just sort of there as a counter. Right. Counters are weird as it is in this game because sure. they're like sure. active forever, but you're also in M like forever. Right. So weird trades here and there. You figure out what you can take, but. Unfortunately, all Saivon and Alka are going to take is L as they move themselves downwards. Ian DeBuzz is going to move forward. Um, curious to see.